Angling Active is a family-run business set up in 1999. Martin, the father of the team, retired from the construction industry and, with the support of his son Chris, stepped into the fast-moving and exciting world of retail. We are here at one of the open days Active Angling puts on throughout the year. We asked Chris why they were important. The open days are a fantastic opportunity for ourselves and our customers to come along, enjoy the shop, showcase the new products, let people get excited about the new ranges that are out for the new season. We offer demonstrations, those are always enjoyable, just helps people with their tips with their fishing. We have a lot of experts coming along from the suppliers that can you know, the customers enjoy speaking with them, you know, the guys that are involved in product development. And you know, just it's a good day, gets all our customers in and we have a good time. You'll get to meet all sorts of experts and get some great advice, like Andrew Foster from Patagonia, who really knows his stuff when it comes to waders. It's the face fabric that really changes the quality of a wader. Now, when we look for a face fabric, there's two very important things to look for. The first one is where the waft and the web come together in these joints. If you get a low quality face fabric, you'll actually find holes in those gaps and you can see white through the holes and that's actually the membrane underneath the face fabric. If you imagine actually weave underneath, there's two things. If the weave is too loose, then you'll have threads sticking out. So as you walk past things like fences or, or, or brushes, then what will happen is it'll hook underneath that thread and pull it, and that's how you get bubbling and pilling. Also, Deer Creek were demonstrating fly tying, and Dave Lindsay tied us a pike fly for men's teeth. I mean, the figures with piking on the fly, it's not all about size. You know, it's just the actual method. It, I mean, if you catch a five pound fish on a, on a jerkbait rod, you, you're pretty much winding it straight back in. If you catch it on a fly rod, it's going to be out of the water, jumping all over the place, you know. I actually prefer to catch fish within about the 10 to 15 pound range because they give you much more fun, you know. We won't tell him that it didn't catch anything on this outing, but it's in my fly box and it looks great. Rock on, Dave. When buying a new rod, it's always best to try them out first. You could waggle them in the shop, you could cast them on a casting pool, but why not walk 500 yards and try them on a flowing river? Particularly with fly fishing. It's a, a real string of bow that we can offer to go down to the river, which is only 500 yards away, and allow you to cast two or three rods on, on flowing water, which can give you a real idea of the different actions and decide what the, the best rod is for you. We asked Martin about his involvement in the Scottish youth team. My involvement with the youth team started with the ladies' team. When, when the ladies came in, and I got my first insight to when you fish for Scotland, how much it actually costs you to do it. So I introduced discount to the ladies. I've got an affinity to support the youth anywhere along the line. And I started going along to some of the youth events and I was invited to become chairman, straight in as chairman, which I thought was a bit unfair. But I went in and did it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is something superb to see young guys arriving in the youth team as we boys, going to fish an international, then standing proud. I mean, they march up with their blazers on to get their badges pinned on them. It is absolutely superb. So what does the future hold for Angling Active? I think our course over the next five years will just be to keep the customers happy, look after them in, in store, make sure the orders are going out quickly to our mail order customers, and keep building that and hopefully five years time will be bigger and better and hopefully have more time to go fishing, which isn't currently the case. If you'd like to know more about the Open Days or any of the products on offer, then go to anglingactive.co.uk.